Yeah. So today's concept is uh, life cycle hookup for LWC. So life cycle hook means just a like a sequence of actions that are going to execute in the life cycle of the LWC component means once it's loaded what is going to happen which function is going to uh, available and once it is loading completes then what it is going to uh, happen and if it is having a child what is going to happen all these things are going to do it now so basically <clears throat> uh, so as a uh, component is uh, basically uh, let's have first uh, set up for life cycle hooks okay so constructor will be there and a connected callback render callback re render and disconnected callback and the error callback these are the set of uh, functions that will execute automatically whenever a component is loaded or in the life cycle of the uh, component life cycle means how it is loaded and when it is loaded and when it is going to complete uh, uh, from starting to ending is called a life cycle right once we load the component what's going to load the page what is going to happen once you click on a button what's going to happen all these things called as life cycle okay in this life cycle hooks means basically a kind of function so like uh, these are the different kinds of methods or a functions uh, that's called as a hook also right so in this which one is going to execute fast which one is going to execute last is basically a life cycle uh, hook basically tells that uh, uh, what actions are available in the LWC so these are uh, standard actions available you can utilize this uh, for your uh, LWC components we had seen already in our components we have used uh, some of the connected callbacks right if you see, open any of the component you might see a connected callback one of the component used uh, connected callback I guess So let us open that uh, i'm not remembering where did we used uh, let me open i think in the wire functions are somewhere we have used in the parent is it connected callback yeah you see here connected callback <clears throat> This as soon as uh, we lo we are loading this loans data, we are automatically calling. <clears throat> so this is a function by default. It is given by the Salesforce. If you observe any other things that we need to write our phone function. This is our uh, let's go here. So this is our own function on handle on success. What do you want it to write? and this is our own function handle input handle click is our own function if we click on a button what should happen right so these things no need to click no need to mod you no need to click on any button no need to change anything automatically these are the standard functions are going to execute so we should know that uh, like when what function is available they'll ask an interview or generally in the any of the functionalities also sometimes they'll ask that so as soon as page loads i wanted to do this so once loading is completion i wanted to do this such kind of things will be there so right so we should understand this is actually order that's why i have written in order wise okay so this will execute whenever a component is created we can say loaded this is at the time of creation of the component R. Our component is created on the DOM or inserted into the DOM. Okay, and this is basically 
after loading of loading completion of the LWC this is at the time of refresh of course everybody everything is going to call but this is again going to refresh a connected anytime you have removed LWC from DOM okay this is going to execute this is anytime error occurs okay so basically there is something called DOM and shadow DOMs are available in the LWC uh, not in LWC any other page generally okay not only this DOM and shadow DOM is not only available in the uh, things but generally any web technologies you will you'll you'll get these words so DOM is something like a outer layer so which will have a definition of the page just like this okay so let's say you are creating a HTML tags over here like HTML instead of HTML body okay instead of the body some buttons okay and instead of that some paragraph something like this now this outer layer is called a DOM okay so it's an uh, basically DOM okay and inner things like HTML contains again sub things right so this inner thing this is a shadow DOM HTML is one shadow DOM under that one more shadow DOM okay so body is another shadow DOM like that you will have it's it's like it's not going to visible it's like internal okay for for a browser understanding things there will be a DOM and there will be sub DOMs okay our shadow DOMs okay in LWC component also before we talking about this LWC component also generally going to display something like this right LWC some output it is going to display before displaying that where it is displaying it's in a browser browser will be identified uh, with a, uh, any browser having generally a DOM will be there which is a kind of outer layer just like this okay DOM will be there so any anything that is displaying something uh, in the LWC right that will have a DOM it's going to insert into the DOM but before inserting it's loading first time right that time itself constructor is going to call first and after that connected callback once loaded is completion then after that render uh, yeah render callback is going to call so like this basically sequence of actions are available okay so like this sequence of actions are available when is going to what uh, available what uh, is basically we need to know so here you see for this requirement whenever page is uh, insert uh, the LWC component is inserted that time I can utilize this connected callback so there may be a uh, question that there is a constructor also right whenever page loads that time also you can call this constructor and then utilize right why do you why are you writing this connected callback means connected callback may fires multiple times this fires only one time if you want only one time you can write instead of here you can directly write here okay so no need of this one so now you see this connected callback or uh, this constructor is not associated into any UI okay so if you open the launch data it's not related to anything like a button uh, nothing so it's internal action basically so we should understand that okay what is the uh, use of this one that's why separately I'm uh, giving this class right so even though this is a small concept only but we should understand there is a, there is no specific code we can write here I mean there is no syntax that we need to write this like this nothing but you can write anything here okay you want to call apex you can do that you wanted to show some messages you can do that okay you wanted to write some logic any logic you can write there is no specific thing here to be uh, like restricted in any logic you can write it here okay but we should know when to you when when this will fire so that what what code we need to write okay so constructor will be loaded first and after that a component is going to load 
and what will happen generally so it will have child for example so this is one lwc now it will have another child okay this is as soon as component is called constructor uh, connected callback then child also will be called if there is any child child related connected callbacks also will fire and if it is having a uh, generally child means child will call right and after that it will have a render callback whenever render callback is executed of the child okay then parent render uh, parent again it's going to execute uh, its function which is basically um, a render callback uh, sorry just one sec oh చైల్డ్ ఈస్ కంప్లీషన్ a render completion a render callback is done then parent render callback is fine <clears throat> if there is no child then directly it's going to call itself okay if there is a child okay then it will calls this child if child available okay then a render callback is done then basically this disconnected callback uh like you wanted to perform some action sometimes uh like as soon as you are removing it for example for example uh you can create dynamically uh, uh like uh, basically this is a kind of uh, loading once completion is loading okay uh everything is loaded done then you wanted to perform some action as well you can have a disconnected callback also in this out of this uh, dom okay you can have outside of this dom disconnected callback so again what are we going to write in this some fun, some code whatever you want so whatever the logic may be they may ask you to show some message they may ask you to do some apex call okay write as some apex call or maybe they want to show some message okay anything okay uh, you just perform some uh, validation or anything okay uh, or whatever you want uh, any messages okay any uh, data uh, creations okay anything all these are the <coughs> internal functions okay but we what we need to know that when this constructor is going to load is basically at the time of component is loaded first time this connected callback is going to execute whenever dom is inserted and if it has any child it will call the child and after child is executed render callback is going to fire from the child so parent render callback is also going to this render callback is also a call uh, like a function it will support in the lws you can write it here render callback this code when if you write some code here what's going to happen here it is going to execute this code only if this child component is having and it's render completion if there is no child then automatically it's uh, as soon as the parent is completed loading then it's going to render okay so like this a sequence of functions will be available you utilize the these functions whenever you need it okay um i mean there is no specific code we can write it here so that's why i'm not giving any example just wanted to tell you the context when it is going to load and what 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 is the purpose okay so that's all about life cycle hooks basically and um <clears throat> i mean just wanted to repeat the things and want uh, and utilize this lwc component in a flow builder also today okay as a sub another concept we have used this <coughs> in 
in multiple places till now okay so we have used lwc components one from uh, home page second one is in the record page we have dragged and drop okay and third one is application page okay and now we can drag and drop this to into uh, we can show this into the quick action as well okay and we can show this as into <coughs> flows as well so two of these places you can display i think we have already displayed this um, in the one of the place quick actions i guess uh, application if i go to loan applications if you wanted to apply for a quick uh, uh, top up loan right here whenever you open any loan okay so right now we are displaying here i guess we are displaying here so if you want something here top up loan also here button something like that it's a called as a quick action you can include this component any lwc component in quick actions as well but just what we need to do is uh, we need to include the can be uh, we, we need to include this in the con component configuration file i mean we need to do some modifications here so here how you are doing home page record page similarly you have to write a quick action okay so if you write a quick action it says that basically you need to uh, mention this lightning record action but this should be in the not a just a, a target it should be it should be having a target configuration then only it's going to support okay so this is important to know how to utilize uh, lwc component uh, in target uh, in a quick action okay so let me uh, just try to have this quick action once record quick action just one second i may, I may have to find out this uh, lwc component configuration file test component so um yeah sorry this this one Yes, we have to utilize uh, this target uh, lightning record action. Uh, this is required to support your LWC component as a quick action. Okay, so now we will have our LWC component in quick action as well. So here you can just specify. I guess that is also required. Let me check. Okay, so now, so if you wanted to display something like this custom quick action, okay, this is a standard quick action, uh, new contact, edit, new opportunity, all these are standard. If you want your own, uh, your own, uh, just like this button or a quick action. You need to go to object you need to create a, a button or a link or a quick action you just click on this you need to create a new action 
here you need to select a lightning web component so you see here um tab of launch tab of launch so sorry launch data we are showing okay now let's go for the tab of launch i wanted to display that uh, i wanted to display tab of launch Yeah, so create top of loans here. Okay, already there. Create top of loans here. It is available. Okay, you can include here uh, top of loan. Top of loan as a, a label. This is a custom label. So, so what will happen now with the same name? you can include a button like this new contact edit just like that top up loan okay so i can mention like this create a new top up loan as well like this okay save it so what is going to happen now it's going to have a a button or a quick action in the back end okay we can include this as a button uh, in the in the layout as well so it's available in the buttons but it's not going to show automatically in the ui we need to go to fields and relation uh, sorry our page layout and then edit this page layout and include it basically whatever you created include and see the output okay so go to mobile and lightning quick actions override this now you can include your own custom quick action and then save it you are included this in the page layout which you have already created and then refresh this page you can see option over here to create a new top up loan just refresh you can see here new top up loan okay we have dragged and drop already the same component over here in the record page so this is for top up loan only we have dragged and dropped the component already so this is one way to display right so another way like if anytime you created a component if someone asks you to display this as a, a button like whenever i click i want it to display this automatically so then you just create a quick action custom quick action from there you can select this whenever you are trying to create here you can choose lwc right here so here whenever you are creating a new one or just create a new one here whenever you are trying to create here you need to choose option over here as a lwc lightning web component so this is called quick action a quick action can have all these options okay create record send email all these options out of which lightning web component is also one of the way you can call any of your components from these buttons okay uh, flow also you can call component also you can call lightning web component also you can call okay so here today we are displaying <coughs> lwc component as a quick action okay so this one this functionality is going to work as as similar uh, like uh, as it is normal uh, how we are utilizing in the home page how we are utilizing the record page similarly in the button also it is going to work in the as it is okay now similar to this you can have a flow also so from the flows also you may need to utilize sometimes this component lwc component okay that time also you should have a target like this flow screen okay so for example uh, i mean how do you want it to create a faster flow how do you want it to utilize this lwc means if you go to flows here you can create a new flow new flow whenever you are creating a new flow if are you are having any existing flows or you are creating a new flow this lwc component can be utilized only in this screen flows okay 
you can you can utilize this LWC in the screen flow. What is screen flow means? Whenever we are discussing flows, we can discuss this. But now also we can have some glance. Screen flow means like to build some UI like this without writing much code. <coughs> You wanted to build this kind of functionality or you wanted to build a like any inputs for example here something like a calculator you wanted to build something like apply loan you wanted to build don't need to write a code with a less code you can go for it but however uh, coding is more like more complex or uh, for more like you know better options like when i change my name i wanted to do something else when i change my phone number i wanted to check something else also we can go for recording <clears throat> but without coding also some uh, like you know some of the architect will prefer you to write a flows instead of uh, apex uh, instead of lwc go with the flow he may ask you okay that time we can create a a new flow but whenever you're creating a new flow for build any uis you select a screen flow type so here screen flow then you can build a ui also okay without writing code so here you can include a screen component okay so you can include a new screen over here so i will write here uh, top up loan okay so i can include my custom components over here in the left side there are multiple standard components okay similarly custom component also i can include over here drag and drop like this double click or a drag and drop okay so lwc component also can be included in the <coughs> screen flows okay click on done save it it doesn't allow you any spaces so i'm just creating without space and then save it and then save now i'll write here uh, create a top of loan screen flow okay save it so now this is a screen flow you can activate the screen flow and you can utilize this in anywhere like you know in the home page you can drag and drop okay for example in the home page you wanted to add this flow uh, directly you can add lwc if you want lwc also you can drag and drop sometimes we can have a flows with the different options that time you may need to include one of the option as lwc like for example in this screen flow uh, in this screen flow you might have added some of the inputs or here or maybe some more options are available here so like this might be your having maybe you wanted to uh, have this one here or let me see i wanted to have one more screen flow I'll write here need more loan I'm just giving a, a one sec I'm just trying to build a flow okay need more loan okay This is one screen flow, one screen which will displace in the UI. Okay. And then I wanted to ask, do you want loan, need more loan? If they say yes, then I wanted to display this. Okay. So without writing code, I'm going to write now some piece of uh, flow. So I'll use a decision here determine yes or no. Okay now i'll say yes i'll ask here uh, loan asking 
one sec this toggle value is equals to yes okay click on done this toggle this toggle is there okay so one sec value value okay let's say this this toggle toggle is something like this if you, you can click active and inactive like this so if toggle is yes be not there let me check this this loan toggle let me try this <clears throat> if it is yes I wanted to call this okay I wanted to call this otherwise no so you just see this now uh, usage is actually LWC but I am trying to build this from the flow I am going to create a one more screen here Save this now I have a flow that will first shows this screen need uh, need more loan if they, they click yes then it's going to come here if it is yes it will come here if it is by default it will go here if it is yes the top of loan screen that we built already with the LWC is going to execute okay let's save this save as new version and then and then activities and then you can utilize this in the ui so while i'm just i wanted to utilize this in the home page that's what i'm editing this home page in the home page you can drag and drop a, this flow here uh, flow is option flow so flow is a standard action that you can drag and drop and then you can choose multiple flows will be there which flow you wanted to utilize so our flow is uh, create top of loan right create top of loan screen okay this is our flow save this go back so now you will see a flow that displays LWC as well so create top of loan screen flow need more loan if you say yes um, click next so now you see if you if you say yes then click next it is going here you can select a customer and then create a loan application save it now it's going to display this pop-up loan oh, sorry this uh, loan then you can click on finish so like this you can have a flow based on our interactions it may show different screen you see okay thank you okay so if you click yes click next then it's going to show uh, our lwc screen okay if you say no you don't want then click next it's going to show okay thank you okay means you can utilize your lwc is in multiple places they can ask you simply where can you use this lwc component what is the purpose can you tell me the some names where can you utilize home page we had seen this in the home page here as a tabs we are displaying all these are the lwc components okay 
in the record page uh, just now we are seeing here in the record page uh, i think in the customer sorry in the loan application sorry customer if you open the loan application i guess we can show that we are showing that in the right side okay component so this is a record page you, uh, if you want in the customer also you can drag and drop this so application page means like this uh, application page we have created here parent to child this is application page where i can drag and drop many components to it janet huh? okay sound so like this uh, uh, actually this is a a page we created uh, by going to uh, here so app builder we created an application page right Opening app builder we can go and then you can create a new page a new page you can create So here you see whenever you are trying to create a new page it will ask you what page you wanted to have right so you can create an application page to include like this component separate separately multiple components okay then you can create a, a application page and display that as a tab okay by default home page is having a by default tab and this uh, uh, objects also having a uh, tabs but this is our own application page that created as a tab and we can use this lwc component as a tab as well okay we created a tab right first initially that's a tab uh, i think uh, this like this first lwc this is a component we created first time and displayed as a tab okay now by looking at this can you tell me which one is uh application page which one is a tab now this is a it created a tab we went to the tab or it's created by the application page can anybody guess how to identify as it is this a created from the application app uh, lightning page or from the um lightning tabs how to identify so this one also tab this one also tab but this is created by using a tabs this is created by using application page lightning app page or lightning application page or lightning app page means if you click on this this is also tab this is also a tab if you click on this and if you see here edit page that's a application page it will come in editable page if this is a tab it won't come in editable mode if you want to change something you can go to tabs and you can remove or add okay so like this you can traverse or you can utilize your component in multiple places like this okay uh, this is our topic today and as well as life cycle hooks let me know if you have any questions we may start tomorrow uh, different